Have you ever seen insects in the window like this? They are very easy to get inside, especially if you have the windows open and lamps on in the evening. I decided to take a closer look at one and I choose this one. It is called, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, a feather mosquito. It is only about 5 millimeters long, so to see some details of it we will need to have some quite heavy magnification. I took a look at it with uh, my three microscopes. The first one, the Pancelant USB microscope, and the second one is a high cloud video microscope. And the third one is the Swift 380T. First out, we have the Pancelant USB microscope with a magnification from 50 to 1000 times. This USB microscope has a resolution of 2 megapixels, or 1920 times 1080p. It has the same resolution for video as it has for the still images. So when I sometimes use it, like this time, I choose to film and then just take a screenshot from the video. I find this the easiest way to get a clear image. So let's take a screenshot from the video right now. So this is what you get from the USB microscope that cost about 40 or 50 dollars. I decided to change the colors a little bit in GIMP and here is my final result. Next out is this high cloud video microscope. This microscope is uh, more like a lens that be on a bar that uh, has a camera attached to it. Uh, and it uh, focusing by moving the lens up and down and you zoom on by zooming on the lens itself. The camera I'm using it has a resolution of um, up to 1440p and it can film with 30 frames per second or you can choose 1080p uh, and go for 60 frames per second. I go for the higher resolution and when you have the higher magnification you are not able to get the sharpness through the whole depth of field. So what we need to do here to get a sharp image is that we need to stack a lot of images. In this video I will show you the simplest way for at least what I know. Uh, I will just make a video where I'm going through the whole uh, depth of field filming and I will take out the video frames to make images of that and then I will stack them in the program Helicon Focus 7. So here I made a short sequence of video where I go through the whole depth of field uh, when maximum zoom with a microscope lens. It produced totally 237 video frames that I will combine using the program Helicon Focus 7. What this program do is that it actually look up the sharpest piece of every frame or every images that you want to stack and combine it to one final sharp image. If you want to see the complete progress you can check out my video where I zoom beard under a microscope. There I will show the whole process. But now here is our final stacked image. I tried to quickly edit it in GIMP, just change the color a little and add some contrast and sharpness. This microscope setup cost about $250 and I think you could get a much better image if you have a better camera on top of the lens. Now to a next and final microscope, the Swift 380T. We will start using the smallest ocular. To create an image with this microscope we will do the same progress as we did with the previous microscope. We will film a little video like you see in the video now and we will take out the frames and stack them. To image this video I'm using my wife's camera, a Sony A5100 that I connected to the microscope. 
to connect my camera I'm using the cheapest one adapter that I could find online so I think maybe that's why it has the dark corners in the video. Just sweeping through the whole depth of field with this lens took about 52 seconds. That generated totally 1565 video frames and I stacked all of them with the program Helicon Focus 7 and here is the result that we got after stacking all the video frames. Not bad at all. I removed the dark corners quickly in GIMP and finally I also added a little more color contrast and a little sharpness. But now let's continue to zoom even more. We choose the next step of the Ec Ocular and we will do the same process here. We will make a short video clip focusing through the whole depth of field and as you can see in the video now we are actually zooming in only the head of this insect. Here we can see its eyes and the feathers that it has on top of the head. And this one might be the nose, I don't know. So after stack all these frames, we got to this result that we can see now. And I like this result. Uh, the dark corners I try to remove here and uh, here I also added some colors and contrast and a little more sharpness in GIMP. And now let us try the higher magnification with a 40 ocular. Here I accidentally smashed the head of the insect when I uh, was getting too close with the ocular. But uh, I found the eye after some looking. So let's try to do uh, an image of the only the eye. So after stacking these video frames we got this. Quite impressive. I tried to remove the co dark corners. Finally I improved the color a bit, added some contrast and a little bit more sharpening in GIMP here. So here we have the final result from the USB microscope. And here we have the final result from the high cloud microscope lens. And here is a final result from the Swift 380T microscope. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it, share it and subscribe to my channel if you don't already be a subscriber. Thanks again. Bye.